How are you gentlemen doing today? Very well. Very well, Junior. Thank you. Oh, man. Let me just say, uh, I had such a blast with this movie. There oh, good. Was, I, I was in a theater. Oh, God. I was in a theater with, with other critics, and there was so much, like, giggling and laughing throughout the film. And I just, I loved all the films. So I'm just like, okay, this is what I needed, especially this summer. So thank you for that, guys. It's um, that's exactly why we made it. An action, <laughs> action, fun, whimsical, the humor. escapism movie. The humor yeah. is insane, and I loved it because it's just like horny 80s action films that I grew up with, and <laughs> thank you. Uh, my first question, uh, each film gets crazier and crazier with action, the blood, the stunts. Has there been an idea that was just too crazy and too impossible to pull off in any of the films? Uh, I don't know. I mean, the first one where you see Jason hanging out of the plane, that was quite dangerous and that was real yeah that was all in camera i mean we basically got the go-ahead from the insurance company maybe an hour before we shot that yeah um that was frightening as a matter of fact i mean jason had some balls to do that i mean yeah. i don't think i would have done it <laughs> you know we had, a, we had a helicopter chasing it yeah you know filming it you know there was no cgi and that was all in camera that's probably the craziest we've ever done um on this last one I, I think, you know, the idea shooting a a movie, 60% of the movie on a boat in the middle of an ocean, I think was crazy, but I think we pulled it off. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look, you know, with Expendables, you, you, want to, you want the audience to feel like, whoa, like it, it, it's just part of the, I think, in-camera experience. Yeah. You know, the, the Marvel movies are one thing, but you understand that that's really CGI, whereas... The Expendables is, is, you know, is rooted in some kind of reality where, where people are doing real things and interacting with each other and hitting each other and vehicles are crashing and explosions are real where you feel the heat on your face. Yeah. And, and it, it's like, that's what makes it, you know, that gritty, you know, but funny experience that uh, Expendables is supposed to be. Oh, and that's why, I mean, look, there's there's such a big fan base for these films and we just, we want more, you know what I mean? Like just keep, keep them coming. Um, now I have to ask you, I love the new team. I know Sly, you know, backed off and it's, it's more Statham is now, you know, in charge. Uh, what does the brainstorming session look like when you want to bring in, okay, that should be, he should be an expendable. Let's bring these guys in, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, it's, I think this one, each each movie is modular, junior, so and it's all story-driven. It's yeah. what that particular script uh, calls for. I mean, it just happened to be this was more Jason-centric. That was the, the script. I mean, um, each one's different. I mean, God forbid there's another one. I mean, Les and I would love it to be, but we don't decide that. Yeah. But, you know, it's, you know, each each, each expendable is story-driven, is, dr is driven by that story. Right. You have to get... You have to change it somewhat. It's like James Bond. You have to all well, starts with a big opening, and there's you know a lot of action in between. You got to change the locale, but you got to keep core things and the foundation about the original, but change the story, change the setting, different you know scenarios and situations, and you know senses of peril. So, you know, we just focus on each movie as it comes. I mean, if there's another one. We don't know. I can't even think about there being another. And I hope there is, yeah. but it's all fan driven. It's all fan driven, Junior. Last did you want to? No, no. I was just going to say, and that's that's what Kevin and I were were really focused on. This film is to, you know, is to deliver to the fans something that they were obviously missing from the last film yeah. and the way the last film was received. And so we we were very attentive and and. And, and in a way, insistent that this be a hard R, that we 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 give the fans, we, we don't assume what the fans want or will watch, but we give them what they really want to watch. Well, as a, as a Cuban-American, thanks for bringing in Andy Garcia, because... Uh... Oh, he's a lovely man, <laughs> lovely man. He's, he's incredible. Uh, and also thank you for Tony Ja, because he I loved Ong Bak, so uh, he was incredible in this film. His action sequences were, they reminded me of The Raid. And yes. the, oh, good. 
you guys killed it with this film. I can't wait for other people to watch it. Oh, and I'm hoping, you. For, I'm hoping for a part five, guys. Thank you. From your lips you so to God's ears. <laughs> I hope so. Very kind. Thank you for your time, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.